The Alabama Crimson Tide getting ready to start spring practice right around the corner. Of course, there's never really an off season for these guys, always training, getting ready, and spring drills means that they have to assess where they're at from the off season. Matt Zinnitz has some good insight for us uh, from Tuscaloosa joining me now. And Matt, some of the big testing that they went through were the squats, the bench press, and of course the 40 times. I want to know from you, out of the, the guys that you were able to get some times from, who were the fastest players for Alabama? Uh, Tony Brown had the fastest time for spring testing. Tony, uh, for the third straight year at the very least, ran a sub 4-4 in the 40-yard dash, which is very good. So Tony ran a 4-3-8 after running 4-3-4s each of the previous two years. Xavier Marks and freshman Brian Robinson, Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa native Brian Robinson, ran or were tied for the second fastest time with, with 4-4-1, which for Brian is particularly impressive considering he's 6-1, 220, playing running back. And then there were a bunch of guys in that 4-4 range. So Calvin Ridley was up there again as one of the fastest guys on the team, ran a 4-4-3. Probably wait, one of the more impressive times on the team in terms of guys that ran in the 4-4, freshman linebacker Dylan Moses. Linebackers don't typically run a, as fast as wide receivers, defensive backs aren't typically among the fastest guys on the team, but Dylan Moses showed once again that, that he's just an absolute freak. So Dylan ran a 4.46 to 235 pounds. Only two wide receivers on a team full of very fast wide receivers ran faster than Dylan Moses, this freshman linebacker. So just one of, one of many very impressive times for Alabama. And you talk about strength. Dylan Moses also high up in that category, along with him and some other guys. Who did you see uh, you know, push their numbers in the strength category? Yeah, really, Der Deron Payne, the defensive lineman, was at the top of the list for that. So Deron, last year, heading into his sophomore year, was already bench pressing 500 pounds, was squat squatting 600 pounds, and those numbers have only gotten bigger now. So Deron, during Alabama spring testing, bench pressed 545 pounds, squatted 635 pounds, and to go along with that showed that, that he's very fast for his size and a very good athlete. So at 310 pounds, also ran a five-flat 40 which is very good for someone that size. So Deron is really a, at the top of the list in terms of strength numbers. And then th there were some other guys that posted some impressive numbers also. So a, a guy like redshirt freshman offensive guard Deontay Brown, a 6'4", 350-pound kid who squatted 675 pounds. Th there were some other guys to, to go along with Deron and Deontay who, who bench pressed 500 pounds. Th there were some other players that also bench pressed 500 pounds. Lester Cotton, who had a 500-pound bench and a 585-pound squat. Jonah Williams, the young, promising star, offensive lineman, bench pressed 500 pounds. And then Josh Frazier, a, a senior defensive lineman, bench pressed 500 pounds also. So Alabama had five guys that bench pressed 500 more pounds, which is very good. I was looking at some of those numbers, and not surprising, but Jalen Hurts, his numbers, they were really impressive. Yeah, I mean, notable right up there with Dylan Moses. So, like I said, a linebacker, you don't really expect a linebacker to to rank up there with the fastest guys on the team, and you don't expect a quarterback to, to rank up there as far as the leaders on the team in not only 40-yard dash speed but also strength numbers. And, and Jalen ran a wide receiver DB-like time with, with a 4-4-8 in the 40-yard dash. And then to go along with that, posted DB like numbers as far as his strength. So bench pressed as a quarterback, 355 pounds, had a 455 pound squat and could have done more than that, but, but didn't go above that. And then also power clean 315 pounds, which was very much a wide receiver DB like number four for that exercise also. All right, Matt, thank you so much. Always interesting to see these numbers this time of year, see where these guys stand as they get ready for spring practice. We appreciate the insight. And as always, you can check out all of our updates on the Alabama Crimson Tide on AL.com.